Hello and welcome to Webdev Mentors YouTube channel and we are watching learning bootstrap series. So in this video we are going to see the last section of the form that is the control sizing or sizing the input fields in forms and also the help text. So control sizing is where we are going to actually give some sizes, different sizes to the input elements or input fields in our form. So there are two different forms in it, the input LG and input SM. And if you're not using any of these, you will be getting the default input sizes. So input LG is for input large and input SM for input small. So you can use these in any of the inputs or select in your uh, form. So you, you can make it large. So I'm going to actually apply it to my form elements in the contact page. So I'm going to the contact page. I'm going to make my name input element bigger by adding the class input LG. I'm going to reduce the size of the subject by adding the class input SM in the class of the input field in subject. So let's actually refresh this page and see the difference. You can see that it is bigger compared to this. This is the default size and this is smaller compared to this because we have added the input small for this one and input LG for the first one. So this is the two variants that you can use. You can use it for the input, all types of input. Uh, it can be text, password, email, number, telephone, whatever it is. If you are using an input tag, you can use this, input LG or input small. And you can also use it for the select tag and it will apply the same kind of styling that you are seeing in here. And the next thing is horizontal form group sizes. So this is actually for adding the large, that is the input large kind of class to the entire row that is the label and also the input field. So you have to add this class in the place of horizontal classes. Uh, you can see that this is a horizontal class I'm getting into the form here. Yeah. In here you have to add the class form group LG after this form group. So you have to keep in mind that so add the style for both the label and also the input field. So if you want both of them to be bigger or smaller in your form, you can apply this class. So let me go to the forms again. And then we have the column sizing. We can give column sizes as we have seen in the horizontal form. We have already used these column sizes to our input fields. So we can go back again to the horizontal form. You can see that these column sizes have been applied to the input fields and also the labels by using the column size by using the regular column classes. If you're not sure how it is done, uh, you just go to the horizontal and inline form video and you will be understanding it very clearly because we have used it clearly on that video. And let's get back on to the last and final part of the form. It is the help text. So if you want some information or some kind of hint has to be given to your input field directly below it, of course, you want the user to actually follow that you can use this help text. The help text is nothing but a span tab for the class help block. So all you have to do is that copy this and paste it right after the input field. So I'm going to remove the input LG because I don't want that to be bigger. And I'm also going to remove the input SM just to make sure it's not bigger anymore. So I'm going to paste this span tab below the input field. Let's first test that it's working or not. Yes, it's working perfectly. And you can see that the text color is gray. It's not black, so it shows that it's a hint. You can actually edit this text to have anything that you want it. So I'm going to edit it. Please enter both your first name and last name. I'm going to refresh the page and you can see that it is dated in here. So this is how you can add it and you can add another text in here. This is the email we will be using to contact you in here and you can use subject, the subject under which you want to contact us. And then finally the message, please leave the message in here. So this is how you actually do it. So at last the forms has been completed. It took around four videos, five videos in order to finish the forms. So the only thing that is left out in the CSS part of the Bootstrap documentation is the, it's the helper classes and this helper classes will be explained in the next video. So helper classes actually helps you to create some effects for your text in order to make it look good. 
so this actually ends the video and we have seen about the control sizing and health checks in the fonts hope this video is useful and if you find this video useful please like the video and share the video and also please subscribe to the channel and if you have any kind of issues errors or problems or if you find it difficult to implement this please let us know in the comment section of this video or in our facebook page twitter feed or even in the google plus page we will get back to you and help you as much as possible and if you have any kind of feedback suggestions or if you want us to do something please let us know in the comment section again or else in our facebook page or twitter feed or google plus page so thank you for watching this video have a great day